going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time some news, man. It's time some news. Oof, forgot to change the light. We're going to talk about the DLC that was announced yesterday. And we got 12 modders to talk about, including some new maps, tractors, trucks, and, and I think an ATV heading our way as well. Check it out. Naturally, the testing list drops as I'm editing this video. So I've had to go back and include that. So here we go. Today, we got 68 mods on the testing list. 58 are in stage one or PC and 10 are in stage two or console. Some notable mods of PC testing today include the International 2x2, IH, 355 and LEN clearing pack. Also a test, we have the Case IH Tiger Series large frame, Luckwood 608 air cup planter, all the container mods, and the flatbed service truck. Rounding out PC testing, we have Ranch Gate and House, Parker 4000 Gravity Wagon, Invoices, Case IH 890 loader, and Snow Plows. And we got some notable PC maps in testing as well, like Goldcrest Valley 22, Franconian Farm, Purbeck 22, and New Lands. Those should come to consoles, but we will see. Speaking of consoles, let's jump down into console mods in testing. We have the Thuringian Farm set, which has been in the PC mods list for a week now for some reason. We also have the Agco Leveling Pack, JCB TM 420S, Typhoon 40, Crescetto CMD Pack, Drawbar, T7 HD Series Edition, X7 VT Drive, Track, Wood Storages, and the Planet Pumps and Hoses extension still in testing, as you would expect. With all that being said, we still have 176 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is about six work days. Giant Software announced the next DLC for Farm Sim 22, the Guvile Pack. This DLC will release on Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 for all platforms. It will cost you guys $9.99. We're going to get the ability to build up corn silage, sugar bee pulp, and mixed feed. Nine new machines and tools will be added as well, including multiple different stationary and mobile balers and wrappers, plus some tools to handle the bells once they've been made. If you guys are interested in picking up the DLC, I do have a few links in the description where you can get it for 10% off for your pre-order right now. It's pretty cool. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this DLC in in the comments. Do you like it? Are you excited about it? Do you not like it? Something else. Hey, let me know. And if you're curious, yes, this was the unknown Steam DB app that we talked about last week as the title was changed yesterday during the announcement. Jumping over to modern news, Slusha's Modding announced their next mod based on the Honda ATC 200 trike. Of course, this will be rebranded as a lizard machine to be suitable for all platforms, but it is pretty cool to see another ATV heading our way, especially from these guys. Usually they tease something about one or two weeks before it's actually finished and sent off for testing, and I would imagine it's probably the same here as well. Keep an eye out for more information as they release it. EY Modding's announced a few bits for his John Deere 4020, including a full cabin and a front loader. He also showed off both the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive models in a new video on YouTube, which is where he seems to be posting the majority of his updates recently. If you guys are not subscribed to him already, definitely check him out. Link below. Someone else working on old classic machinery is WolfX Modding, who has new screenshots of their Zader UR1 pack for all platforms. The pack will include six different tractor models. We'll have a 3011 3045, a 3511 3545, the 3511 S, 2511, 4511, and the 5511, 5545. There's also going to be 11 different cabin configurations, different wheel configs for two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, materials, manual gears, animations, and simple IC. If you love classic machinery, you're going to love these too. If more modern tractors are your thing, then I think JHHG Modding has something that you might like. He's been working on his John Deere 8R series for a little while now for all platforms, and today we have a pile of information to share with you. This tractor will feature something that we have never seen before, manually attachable features. I mean, manually attaching wheel weights, front weights, wheel spacers and hubs, front and rear duels, and maybe even more. I think there's been a few PC mods like this, but I don't think we've ever seen anything close to this on the mod up, let alone for all platforms. This is definitely something super cool, and I'm very excited to see this. Perhaps a smaller tractor made for vineyards is more your thing. Well, then KRKZ Modding has you guys covered with his new McCormick X4F P3 Drive. To my knowledge, I don't think we've got any McCormick Vineyard tractors in the game, so this will be a pretty nice addition. It's also nice to see more and more Vineyard mods being added to the game. I know players have been asking for more variety, and modders are listening. CMT Software, aka Smeddy as he's known on the Mod Hub, has a few updated pictures of his Klaus Zarian Saddle Track mod, shown here using a seed hopper and I believe a 6 meter cedar on the back. 
I know we've got the Saddle Track DLC, but some players, especially on PlayStation 4, are still having problems downloading it. And this version features a lot of options and customizations that are not available on that. So this is going to be a very warm welcome to a lot of players. Massive Modding has shared some more screenshots of his upcoming Fiat 619 that we first showed off last week. Currently, he's trying to make the model as true to life as possible. There's still a few things missing here and there and some things to change, but it's coming along very nicely. And as far as I can tell, this will be for all platforms because everything else they've done have been. How's about some equipment? Well, custom modding say that their Dimco header pack is almost ready to go and in, in quotes, they say this in the next few days in your simulator. I know we haven't talked about these in a while, so here's a refresher. We're going to be getting three different models, a single axle, tandem, and a heavy duty version. We'll have nine sizes, including 20 foot, 24, 28, 32, 38, 42, 48, 52, and even 60 foot heads. Oh my goodness, that's so much. We're also going to have custom tires, a mainframe color, rim color, header extension, fenders, and light options. These are for all platforms, and they say hopefully we'll see them soon. Agritono have been working on a new mod recently, the Stara Prima 4590 Cedar. They say they'll have two versions, one with automatic markers and one with manual markers, or you can just take the markers off if you want either one of those. Depending on the tractor that you use, sometimes there's conflicts with controls, especially on Xbox and PlayStation because you have limited buttons. Well, hopefully this automatic or manual uh, modes will help prevent those issues, giving you full options and functionality however you wish. And I know you're gonna ask about it, so here you go. They also say that they're currently checking the F-350, also known as internal testing, I believe. They did say last week it would be sent out for testing, like last week, and I guess that didn't happen. Uh, so this is where we are now. Elite's just done-ish, so there's that. Kalaruga Modding is looking to update the Rhino Agro Pack, also known as the RN Pack on consoles, and want your help. What do you think could be changed? What do you think could be added? Or maybe you see something that needs to be fixed. Jump over to Kalaruga Modding's page and let them know, link below. One of the things I think a lot of people were looking forward to with the next DLC was corn stalk bailing or corn straw bailing. Well, it doesn't look like that is being added to the DLC. At least they haven't said anything about it yet. So, Poor Boy Monning has taken it upon himself to add corn straw bailing to Rogue River Valley and his upcoming Black Mountain. He does say that it's not perfect, but it does get the point across, which I love. One thing to note, he has had to pull the update to Hickory Valley and Rogue River Valley. Um, he says the Rogue River may have to be redone, and he's not even sure if Hickory Valley is going to get an update or not because they're giving uh, problems with new crops in addition to the trees. He's given a tree uh, thing he's never seen before. Either way, he is trying at least, and I'll keep you guys updated once we get some more progress. And lastly today, Taylor Farms has announced that he will be moving the release of Frankenmuth 4X for PCs from the original date of March 22nd, now to no later than February 28th, which is two weeks from yesterday. This is to make sure that he doesn't conflict with the release of the next DLC. And secondly, he does say that his shed pack did fail testing and says that it may be too much to even fix which is odd considering that all of his maps are for all platforms and they're already out. Uh, either way, that's all I got for you guys today. However, I do have this self-aware segue to the outro that I found laying around. You guys can have it if you want. Just like every episode of Find Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed the news video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel it's done hope you have a great day we'll see you later Hoo! I totally didn't get started an hour late today. Nope, not me. Never, ever, ever. I was so on time today.